and welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example we have a point given in the polar coordinate and they ask us to find all its polar coordinates. Okay. Now, first of all let's plot this point to see what it is. So we see that pi over 6, which means 30 degree, this is the terminal side, right? This is the polar axis. So it should be somewhere on this terminal side on the red side, right? Where? Right here. Okay, this is the point that shows us the point B of uh, R equals to and pi over 6. Okay, but you notice here that it says find all it's called polar coordinate. Why? Because this is not the only way to write this point. Look at here why we say that. I can go around one time and I'm going to be back here, right? What is that guy? That guy will be to, I'm sorry, yeah. 2 and pi over 6 plus 2 pi. Well, of course, I can go one more time around and be in the same spot. I'll be this, that point. I'll be pi over 6 plus 4 pi. Can I go one more time? Obviously, yes. That will be 6 pi, right? 8 pi, and so on. So the general form of that point will be 2 pi over 6 plus, and now we need to say an even number of pi's, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So you want to write a 2 and in that moment you know Whatever value n is, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, that 2n is an even number, pi. And that's it. But also, let's take a look to this point P in a different way. Point P is also possible to be written as negative 2 and pi over 6 plus pi. What do I mean by that? If you take a look to this point P now, we have it here, and I'm going to erase all this stuff. Okay, we can treat it in a different way. Okay, if I add pi over 6, I'm going to be right here. And then because of this negative 2, obviously I need to move in the opposite direction. So, that's another way to see the point P using this negative 2 and then pi over 6 plus pi. But then the same idea, right? I can move one more time. Right, so we're gonna have negative 2 pi over 6, and on that pi I'm gonna add the 2 pi, so it's gonna be 3 pi. But then I can do it one more time. Negative 2 pi over 6 plus 5 pi and so on, 7 pi, 9 pi. So what is the final form? P, negative 2, pi over 6, plus, and now we want to write this, e, uh, this odd number, 3, 5, 7, right? How are we going to do that? In this format, 2n plus 1, right? Whatever value n is, 1, 2, 3, 2n plus 1 will be an odd number. Okay, and those are the two ways you can write the uh, polar coordinate of point P. You're going to see a summary similar of what you see on the screen here. Okay, and that's it. Don't forget the last thing that I, I put here. The coordinates are not unique. The point is unique. The coordinates are not unique. Very important. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.